Hello, it's Ms. Beachler again. I want to read to you from this book, Cool Salsa. It's a collection of poems on growing up Latino in the United States. Um, and because I don't like to miss anything, I always read the front and the back. Here are the sights, sounds, and smells of Latino culture in America through 36 vibrant, moving, angry, beautiful, and varied voices. And on the back. Growing up Latino in America means speaking two languages, living two lives, learning the rules of two cultures. Pool Salsa celebrates the tones, rhythms, sounds, and experiences that double life. Here are poems about families and parties and insults and sad memories, hot dogs and mangos and sweet syllables of Spanish and the snag tooth traps of English. Latino Americans hail from Cuba and California, Mexico and Michigan, Nicaragua and New York. And Carlson, the editor, has made sure to capture all of these accents. And you might, and if you read this book on your own, you'll read poems from many, or from, from a handful of famous um, authors like Sandro Cisneros and Gary Soto, for example. I've chosen a few to share with you, and I hope that you pick this book up from Overdrive. I hope that you're utilizing Overdrive from the Kalamazoo Public Library. It's free, and there are amazing books that you can get there. You can read them on your computer or on your iPhone. I have Overdrive on my phone, and I um, read books from that. I even get audio books that I listen to from time to time. Um, and if you need help with getting onto Overdrive, you can contact me, Beachler, S-E, at KalamazooPublicSchools.net, B-E-E-C-H-L-E-R, at KalamazooPublicSchools.net, Beachler, S-E. Okay. So, cool salsa. Learning English. By Luis Alberto Ambrigogio. Life. To understand me, you have to know Spanish. Feel it in the blood of your soul. If I speak another language and use different words for feelings, that will always stay the same. I don't know if I'll continue being the same person. Vida. Para entenderme, tienes que saber español. Sentirlo en la sangre de tu alma. Si hablo otro lenguaje y uso palabras distintas para expresar sentimientos que nunca cambiaron, no sé si seguiré Siendo la misma persona. Where are you from? By Hina Valdez. Soy de aquí, soy de allá. From here, from there. Born in L.A., del otro lado. De este, crecí en L.A. Y en Ensenada. My mouth still tastes of naranjas con chile. Soy del sur y del norte. Crecí sorda y, y norteada. Cruzando fronteras. Crossing San Andreas. Tartamuda y mareada. Where are you from? Soy de aquí y soy de allá. I didn't build this border that halts me. The word... Frontera splits from my tongue. Domingo means scrubbing. By Alicia Gaspar del Alba. Our knees for church. Ama splicing our trenzas tight. With ribbons stretching our eyelids into slits. Grandpa wearing his teeth. Domingo means one of our tios passing out quarters for the man with the basket 
and me putting mine under my tongue like the host. Then, Manuro and Nina's raisin tamales for dessert. Our tias exchange pepito jokes in the kitchen while we sneak a beer into the bathroom, believing the taste will make our chichis grow. Domingo means playing a la familia with all of our cousins, me being the dad because I'm the oldest and the only one who'll kiss the mom under the willow tree. After dark, our grandmothers pisteando tequila on the porch, scaring us every little while. La Llorona knows what you kids are doing. Mama coming out of the house to drag the girls inside. A lavar los dishes. Domingo means scrubbing. The Changeling by Judith Ortiz Kofer. As a young girl vying for my father's attention, I invented a game that made him look up from his reading and shake his head as if both baffled and amused. In my brother's closet, I'd change into his dungarees, the rough material molding me into boy shape, hide my long hair under my army helmet he'd been given by father and emerge transformed into the legendary Che of grown-up talk. Strutting around the room, I'd tell of life in the mountains, of carnage and rivers of blood, and of manly feast with rum and music to celebrate victories para la libertad. He would listen with a smile to my tales of battles and brotherhood until our mother called us to dinner. She was not amused by my transformations, sternly forbidding me from sitting down with them as a man. She'd order me back to the dark cubicle that smelled of adventure to shed my costume, to braid my hair furiously with blind hands, and to return invisible as myself to the real world of her kitchen. An Unexpected Conversion by Carolina Hospital and Alexandra Lopez. Mother hid from us the blue and white beads her nanny Brigida had given her and the plate of pennies and honey under the virgin's skirt. She rarely spoke about the island. She never taught us to cook black beans. Father played Stravinsky on Sundays. Once he relented and taught us guacuaco. He swore as she did, they would never go back. He's 30 years in exile and about to retire. Today, mother and I sit in the garden. She rests on the edge of the rusted swing, speaking of reconstruction, of roads and houses. I know they'll need an experienced engineer, she says, looking at dad. I've never seen her look so young, and I've never felt so old. The Monster by Luis Rodriguez. It erupted into our lives. Two guys in jeans shoved it through the door, heaving and grunting and biting lower lips a large industrial sewing machine. We called it the monster. It came on a winter's day, rented out of mother's pay. Once in the living room, the wall seemed to cave in around it. Black footsteps to our door brought heaps of cloth for mama to sew. Noises of war burst out of the living room. Rafters rattled, floors farted, the radio going into static each time the needle ripped into the fabric. Many nights I'd get up from bed, wander squint-eyed down the hallway, and peer through a dust-covered blanket to where Mama and the monster did nightly battle. I could see Mama through the yellow haze of a single light bulb. She slouched over the machine, her eyes almost closed, her hair in disheveled braids. 
each stitch binding her life to scraps of cloth. Race Politics by Luis Rodriguez. My brother and I, shopping for La Jejita, decided to get the good food over on the other side of the tracks. We dared each other, laughed a little, thought about it, said, what's the big deal? Thought about that. Decided we were men, not boys. Decided we should go wherever we wanted to. Oh, my brother, now he was bad. Tough dude, afraid of nothing. I was afraid of him. So there we go, climbing over the iron and wood ties, over discarded sofas and bent up market carts, over a weed and dirt road into a place called Southgate. All white, all American. We entered the forbidden narrow line of hate, imposed, transposed, supposed, a line of power, powerlessness, full of meaning, meaning nothing. Those lines that crisscross the abdomen of this land that strangle you and your days and your nights when you dream. There we were, two Mexicans, six and nine from Watts, no less. Oh, this was plenty of reason to hate us. Plenty of reason to run up behind us, five teenagers on bikes. Plenty of reason to knock the groceries out from our arms, a spat, splattering heap of soup, cans, bread, and candy. Plenty of reason to hold me down on the hot asphalt, melted gum and chips of broken beer bottle on my lips and cheek. Plenty of reason to get my brother by the throat, taking turns, punching him in the face, cutting his lower lip, punching him, making him vomit, punching him till swollen and dark blue, he slid from the grass like a rotten banana from its peeling. When they had had enough, they threw us back, dirty and lacerated, back to Watts, its tower shining across the orange-red sky. My brother then forced me to promise not to tell anybody how he cried. He forced me to swear to God, to Jesus Cristo, to our long-dead Indian grandmother, keepers of our meddling souls. <sighs> Nothing But Drums by Oscar Iuelos and Alejandro Garcia Reyes. And now, Nothing But Drums, a battery of drums, the conga drums, jamming out in a descarga. The drummers lifting their heads and shaking under some kind of spell. There's rain drums like pitter patter, pitter patter, but a hundred times faster and then slamming the door drums and the dropping the bucket drums, kicking the car fender drums, then circus drums, then coconuts falling out of the trees and thumping against the ground drums, then lion skin drums, then the whacking of a hand against a wall drums, the beating of a willow, pillow drums, heavy stones against a wall drums, then the mountain rumble drums, then the little birds learning to fly drums, and the big birds alighting on a rooftop and fanning their immense wings drums, then a boat down the river with its oars dropping heavily into the water drums. So this book is written, is divided into several parts. If you go to the table of contents, you can see that it has themes like school days, home and homeland, um, hard times, the secret, time to party. There's a great poem in here about mango juice, mango juice, and that's by Pat Moore. You might recognize that name and another um, section is called A Promising Future. I love this book. I, we, I don't think we read enough poetry. But poetry, can ex you can express yourself in so many ways through poetry. It's a wonderful means to say, to show even 
everyone what's going on in your head and you can make your thoughts visible through poetry. I hope you can pick up this book on overdrive. If you need help with overdrive, let me share my screen for you and I'll get you my email address. So that if you have questions, you would like to know more about this book, or if you'd like to know how to get on overdrive, I'd be more than happy to work with you. Remember, overdrive is free. It doesn't cost anything. And here is the link to the Kalamazoo Learning Hub, which I hope that you are going to often for all the activities and resources that are available there. And you'll get to meet many different teachers. Here is my address. And do feel free to contact me, Beachler, S-E, at KalamazooPublicSchools.net. I'd be happy to answer any questions and see what resources I could find for you. If you're interested in Cool Salsa, I think Overdrive has that. If not, they have so an amazing variety of books that you for sure will not be bored. They have graphic novels, they have poetry, they have um, thick novels, they have books in um, different languages, they have bilingual books. So please do feel free to contact me if you would like any assistance. I hope that you are well and please remember to read every day, read as much as you can, 20, 30, 40, 60 minutes a day or more. All right, take care everyone.